Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We've recently test driven the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392 with a big V8 shoehorned under the hood. So we're gonna take a tour of the engine compartment, outlining the major technical features of its V8, as well as the maintenance service points. The JL Jeep Wrangler already has a tightly packed engine compartment, but for the Wrangler Rubicon 392, the 6.4 liter V8 engine is an especially unique situation in every sense of the word when it comes to packaging, specifications, and its engine bay components. The 6.4 liter Hemi V8, known as the 392 by its cubic inch count, is rated in the Wrangler at 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. It comes mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission and full-time four-wheel drive. In the Wrangler Rubicon we have here, that delivers 0 to 60 in about 4.5 seconds. The 6.4 liter V8 uses a cast iron cylinder block, aluminum heads, active composite plastic intake manifold, variable cam timing, and two spark plugs per cylinder. And it features a more traditional port fuel injection instead of direct injectors. It does, however, have cylinder deactivation, which can allow it to run on four cylinders to save fuel when the extra power is not needed. One of the most unique features of this installation is the ornate and complex HydroGuide air intake system that allows the Wrangler Rubicon 392 to almost swim through water without inhaling any of it. The air induction hood has a tri-level ducting system that, with a series of drains, including a one-way drain in the air box, it can separate up to 15 gallons of water per minute. That's a lot. That leads us to the intake airflow, which after coming through all of that ducting, which is sealed to its air box, it then travels through the high flow filter and then through a tube to a large thro throttle body and into its active intake manifold. From there, it's often into the cylinders. The spark plug coil packs can mostly be seen at each side, though accessing them does require some effort. Most of the fuel injection system is hidden below the easily removable decorative plastic covers at each side. Once combustion is complete, it heads out of the aluminum heads at the lower banks and into a high-flow exhaust system that features an active dual mode that allows for variable sound and loudness. The system engages automatically, opening valves in the exhaust system under high engine loads to reduce exhaust back pressure. The driver can also activate the system manually with the press of the button. Servicing the Wrangler Rubicon 392, however, is as average as any other vehicle. Most of the fluids and components are within easy reach. First and most notable, this Wrangler still features hydraulic power steering, so there's a fluid reservoir at the front passenger side of the engine to keep track of. Rare today. The 12 volt battery is found near the passenger side firewall, ahead of it the main ECU, and ahead of that the main fuse box. The engine oil disc stick is found at the top of the valve cover at the driver's side and the oil filler cap can also be found nearby. The engine oil filter, however, must be accessed from below. On the driver's side near the firewall, you'll find grouped together the main engine coolant reservoir, the brake fluid reservoir, and to its right, the windshield washer fluid tank. Notably, this Wrangler still uses a conventional brake fluid master cylinder and brake booster, though a modern ABS control unit can be found ahead. Lastly, the main engine cooling fan can be seen looking forward towards the rear of the radiator. Always be cautious, as it can start running any time, even if the engine's been turned off after it's been warm. Well, there you have it, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392, a very limited production thing. They only made them for a short time and they're now going away forever, but we got to have one while it was here. So if you'd like to see our test drive of it, you can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.